Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Karin and I'm coming to you from my new mobile home. Now we are working here today, I think it's the sixth weekend. Uh, we did a lot, a lot of work. So if you're new here and you didn't check out the previous videos, I link them here below. Uh, here up <laughs> um, check them out first before you watch this one and don't forget to subscribe because I have many nice DIY videos coming up to you and you don't want to miss it and it would be great if you uh, leave a comment down below or uh, give it a like if you like it it helps me a lot to grow this channel and that it's visible on YouTube it makes a huge difference So in this video, I show you the last big renovations of the living room and the kitchen area of my uh, of our mobile home. Uh, we had uh, to do a lot of work and we always think it's done in a day or two, but at the end it takes many, many days, a lot of patience. And um, uh, at the end, we are very happy with the result. Don't uh, get me wrong, but it, Every DIY project takes much more time than I think or than I plan. <laughs> so don't be disappointed if you do uh, take on a DIY uh, project or a room makeover yourself and you think, why does it take so long? In every video, it goes very fast. I just show you that's such a small part, but um, it's worthwhile and uh, it makes you so proud. And uh, what I experience it, I much more enjoy uh, the things I do myself than when I buy it or uh, when it's done already. So also for your information, uh, we are absolutely not trained to do this kind of projects. Uh, we never did it before also. So every time we take on a new uh, DIY project, uh, is it my husband or me, uh, we have to figure out how does it work. Uh, we watch many YouTube videos. We ask many people at the hardware store. Uh, we have to plan it out. We have to buy the stuff and um, figure it out how it works. So that also takes a lot of time. So in this channel, I also want to show you, you don't have to know it in advance how it works. You can also do it if you don't know and get informed and just try it out. And you learn by doing it and you learn from the mistakes you make. And usually you can repair every mistake. So let's start the tape and uh, enjoy the video. Hello everybody. So. I'm wearing again my painting clothes because today is the last day of painting the mobile home from the inside. I hope so. Uh, so today I want to tackle this part. Um, sorry for the lighting, it's a bit too much. So I'm going to paint whoops, all uh, this, <laughs> the, no, this part and every uh, little piece in between and when that's done I uh, put back the frames for the ceiling uh, for the windows and I will put a shelf on top of this so that's the goal for today and um, my husband will do the following here we have all the shiplap and he will tackle to put on here all the shiplaps so we have to hmm, put on here some pieces of wood to fix it secure it and then uh, we tackle these ones here um, yeah so step by step it's going to be nice and livable good morning it's the next day and we have nice weather, yay! So that's really nice <laughs> that it's a bit warmer. And um, today we are going to install here the shiplap. So that's, oops, <laughs> that's uh, exciting. It will really change uh, the look of the room. And I will do the following. I should turn the camera. I will place some different kind of strips on the walls and ceiling. And I'll show you what I have. This is a small, uh, they are all from wood and they are primed already. So that's uh, very easy. This small one I will use for the um, walls. 
this corner one which has um how you call this uh glue on it already uh, is for the um, corner between the wall and the ceiling in the kitchen and maybe also if I have enough for other uh, places and these larger uh, wooden strips are for the ceiling so I start with these the easy ones Okay, so the next project is to put above here um, a shelf and I bought this um, wooden uh, panels for it and in this corner it is a bit, uh, I don't know how you say that, but it's not straight. <laughs> so I saw this angle so it fits perfectly. Let's have a look. So let's have a look. Yes, it fits perfectly. Yay. So how do I know how, what angle I need to do? I kept a old part of the cabinet where this angle is um, in. So I can copy it on the new panel like this. All flush and then we go to the side here and then I can Oops. Let's take this one And I can sew it and it will fit perfectly. Ja. Yo. Ik ga doen. 
I did not have time to finish the shelf, but we do that next week. It's already time again to go home. But it looks so, so much better than last weekend and two weeks ago. So we are very happy. So, some mistakes that happen. Uh, we have here a little, um, I don't know how you call this, but we want to screw the shelf in here from above. But we did, missed it just by a half centimeter. Hmm. So it's on the wall mounted my shelf. I'm very, very satisfied and happy. And uh, I made it with two uh, shelves and to connect them, I used these uh, brackets, steel brackets. Uh, and still it is not very nice level here, but well, that's bad luck. So I don't mind. I put something on here and then uh, nobody will see it. Yay! It's very sturdy now. Very happy! Thanks to my husband, who helps me install these things. <laughs> so this is Felix, my cat. He came with us. The travel uh, was a bit stressful for him, but we stay here a few days longer. So it's really nice that he's here and uh, he has company and we have company. So so because we stay a few days longer, we have time to finish everything in the living room of, let's say, we miss 15%. Uh, I finished painting the kitchen, so that's nice. So all the painting is done in the living room and uh, we have time to do the styling and to decorate everything so that it's nice and cozy. The decoration is not finished yet. We still want to cover the seatings of the couch uh, with a different kind of fabric but um, we spent so much money the last weeks so we want to uh, we look for a, a cheaper solution for the moment and then in a few weeks we can uh, buy the the fabric and the so how it's called so so will I will sew um, the the cushions make the cushions just do it also, I want to uh, add different kind of throw pillows. Um, I just use what I had at home and I took uh, many candles and candle holders uh, with me from home. Some rugs, which is really nice, makes the place really cozy. And um, some books we found at the thrift store. Also some lamps and, oh, that's uh, Mr. Felix. So that's nice that we uh, can decorate uh, the space and make it a bit homey. I'm still waiting for the curtains to come, but I just called to the company uh, where I ordered them and they are on its way, finally, after one month. <laughs> uh, I ordered some bamboo curtain, um, so I hope they come next week. And then um, the last thing we have to figure out is the working table in... Um, here we just put the table we had to uh, watch how we want to have it do we want to have it on this wall or at the window and uh, how big we want to have it um, 
so it's a bit of try out situation and um, in a week or so we can buy a new uh, table which fits here exactly and then we um, will put it in place.